What's up, everybody? Welcome to your daily dose of Brood War. Here we have Snow spawning in the top right and TY in the bottom right. Really looking forward to checking out this match. We haven't looked at much TVP lately. And I saw that uh, one of these games was revealed. Snow versus TY should be a bit of a banger. Hopefully, we're going to get a little bit better of a game that we saw out of him versus Jadong. I saw somebody in the comments uh, in that last game say that the game looked like uh, TY's wife or TY's girlfriend suddenly called him from the other room and he's like, okay, I got to end this game right now because he just dove in on the third base and I tried to break that so hard in such a kind of rushed manner. It really did seem like he needed to leave or something. Um, strange. A very strange game. Now we're going to have him versus Snow. I don't know what TY's uh, versus Protoss looks like. So I would really like to get a nice preview here. We're going to already have Snow in that main base. Looking to steal the gas most likely. Nothing really that TY can do about it. Right now he could actually cancel this SCV and build the gas. But... I don't think that's the plan here. I think he's just going to... Is he actually going to get the gas? He might be able to get it. Yeah, he will get it here. The snow not stealing that gas. Instead of getting his own gas back at home. He's just going to keep harassing this SUV here. Again, this is a barcode account. Both players playing on barcode accounts. So they don't know exactly who each other is right now. But I think the TY might be looking at this like, man, this guy really... Uh, Really micro in this probe hard, man. Wow, one HP on that, by the way. Kind of ridiculous. I bet the TY is a little bit tilted after seeing how low that probe got. I can tell you that uh, in my games, having a probe at this HP happens very often. And then they heal right back up. And all the damage that you did to them seems like it was for not because here they are with full shields once again you have to hit them another four or five times six times maybe even with the scv to actually get a kill on that probe so he will back off i believe it's 12 hits to kill an scv 12 hits to kill an scv and with full shields it's four hits so uh, four hits to get rid of those shields maybe five if you are if if the shield does recover by one point but the probe has been pushed back we are going to be getting here into a more or less normal game from this position the probe still alive here really doing a great job of checking up on what's coming for our Terran player Keeping an eye on these Marines, seeing if he's going to move out or not. What's the plan here for TY? Gone straight into a Dragoon as well. No Zealot here to put on that pressure. So Dragoon going to be the first unit popping out for Snow. Snow is going to try and maybe pick off a few Marines here. We'll see how this goes for him. Dealing a little damage here and there. Pretty good micro so far from TY, keeping back the injured Marines. Looks like he's going to lose one, potentially two. Here comes the Vulture. Now, the Vulture is very good at shredding the shields off of the Dragoon, but it's not very good at cutting through the armor of the Dragoon. That plus one armor really does make a bit of a difference. SCV. Going to run into that main base, get a little bit of a scout going here. He does see the range upgrade here on the way, and he might even get the view on the robotics. I'm not sure if he saw that or not, but there is a possibility that he did indeed see that. Now, this is pretty good by TY. He went out, did a little damage with the vulture, went back, healed it up, repaired the vulture, and then came back out to try and finish off the dragon. It wasn't good enough, as the dragon did recover some of its shields, and... Dragoons do really wreck those vultures in early game, so not going to be able to pick this guy off. He's already got a kill. His brother going to head up here and check out. I think he just saw the command center here being placed on that low ground, so he knows everything, and we're going to get into a regular game. Not much damage has been done on either side as of yet. 
tank plus vulture gonna push out and maybe just look for a potential kill on that low hp dragoon but here's that low hp dra dragoon it's actually over on this left hand side he's gonna be able to back away no problem and the tank here is looking for that kill as you can see backing away oh is he gonna get the vulture oh my god he just barely gets the vulture and look at that three hp on that dragoon so annoying here snow as always man getting the absolute maximum value out of every single unit he's so good at doing that that is just gonna back up from here ty gotta be a little bit annoyed about losing his first vulture just like that but he's got a couple of tanks back at home he does have some defenses here he's gone right into armory has that engineering bay on the way as well he should be able to get a turret ring going in his main base it is kind of hard to cover this base with turrets it's quite a large open base um you might want to put like a turret here maybe maybe another one there and then maybe one more up here but it really feels like you might actually need a, even a fourth one somewhere up in the corner there if you want to fully cover and it's interesting he hasn't thrown down any turrets here no turrets have been thrown down and we are gonna have that shuttle coming across the map here pretty darn soon wait there it is okay he does have the robotic support bay i thought i missed something here but there's the robotics and we do have a shuttle out on the map so where are those turrets there we go adding the turrets on one here exactly as i predicted maybe one here too or will he just go for one there okay just just one there instead Ma total three turrets that's a pretty skimpy defense here might allow ty to get away with just a little bit more macro in this early mid game phase more factories being thrown down see he couldn't throw down the factories quite this quickly if he had been dropping turrets everywhere so ty cutting some corners here not making the full turret ring but he has a pretty good defensive setup to get this out though he's kind of been forced to not control the map at all right he hasn't built very many vultures he can't really get out here and stop something like this third base coming down which did come down very very early on i guess it was 6 30 or seven minutes something like that very nice early third base here for snow cannot be contested here by ty his first at, as we saw oh god he almost killed his own vulture there that's not good as we saw his first vulture was killed was not allowed out onto the map so he got no map pressure and he went straight into tank getting into that siege mode his first armory and now going up here to a dropship interestingly it looks like since he's not been able to deal any damage at all with his vulture or get them out on the map it looks like he'll be planning to go for a little damage with uh oh my gosh look at this he's gonna get some damage here oh this is gonna be a big hit wow that actually dudded that is crazy that that dudded i thought for sure he was gonna get a huge amount of damage there but the scarab duds gonna kill off the marines at least the the uh, oh gets a couple of scvs here and there gonna get one more shot off not able to get it snow trying to get make that happen but not able to pick that off the tank gonna come forward here oh god that's right in the range of these dragoons that's not a good spot to put your tank there ty where are oh here we go drop in the main base gonna deal quite a lot of damage while all of this is going on you got six kills on this tank oh my god i'll have to picture and picture that great drop there by ty to get that extra damage while he was being pressured here at the front turning the aggression back onto snow here now snow like working very hard to clean this up oh he pulled the tank out as well 17 hp on that dropship really well played here by ty 
starting to uh starting to believe right now i didn't think that actually ty had any chance of taking on snow and the early game was kind of you know teeing me up for that assumption but now it's looking pretty good i don't know i don't know if he can you know put everything together but he's got plus two on the way plus two is about halfway done he's got plus one as well double upgrades he's been able to get away with that you know a lot of terran players won't be able to do something like that to just get away with quick double upgrade you know lots of factories without taking a ton of damage from the reaver of snow and he didn't take a ton of damage from the reaver and he dealt a lot of damage with his tank drop tank vulture drop you can see the worker count is pretty darn even right now and the factory count is looking explosive here we've got six factory are we going to go to seven and just go all in try to attack right across the map is he going to try and take a third base here questions that need answers right now air weapons on the way for snow he could drop some stargates in like a random location try to sneak some carriers out onto the map we'll see if that's his plan he's just getting into leg upgrade now but he has not gone into storm a lot of uh, zerg players will have zerg protoss players will have storm at this point so they can really take a fantastic fight against the Terran army as it moves out. Ooh, keeping that alive. Okay, he does manage to keep that alive. Is it time to control this area? Maybe. Maybe drop an SCV over here. Start to build up uh, a base on that island. I'm not sure. He's going to start to push out here. Sieging up. Losing the vessel, unfortunately. That vessel getting targeted down is pretty big, but... Hold on, look at how much damage was just done. So many dragoons going down here, and he's gonna pick off the shuttle. Wait a second. Oh my gosh. Shuttle lost here from snow. That is not something you see every day, my friends. Snow's shuttle feels immortal at times, but here... We can see that even Snow can bleed. He is not immortal. He is, in fact, a man. And TY going to push right across these bridges here. This would be so nasty if there was Storm. And there is actually Storm coming right now. It's on the way, but it's not ready yet. And we're already in range of this Nexus. Now, coming around, going to catch some of these tanks uh, that are being reinforced right now. So... Reinforcing tanks, he loses two of those. There's a big win here for Snow, but honestly, this is bigger. Killing this base is huge. Now, he does need to be prepare for the counterattack. We can't be sloppy here. Look at all the mines that are underneath this army. Oh my gosh, those mines getting some great connections there on the Terran army. Not what you want as TY right now. A Dragoon going to go down here for free, though. Coming in, going to pick off a couple of Templar. Templar snipes right now are huge. And it looks like... TY gonna have to start heading out for a third base. We're gonna send some vultures out on the map here. Try to take some map control. Maybe try to uh, catch these dragoons on the retreat. As the tanks are coming back here, he's gonna force the dragoons to run. And setting up the mines here is a beautiful move to capitalize on the position that Snow had taken. So Snow takes a spot here to prevent the easy uh, retreat. TY sets up mines over here and crushes that army in a pincer attack. Really nicely done by him. Picking off one base and returning home. Now I think it's time for a third because we are starting to run low on minerals. And Snow has secured a fourth base once again. So things can get dicey here if he's not careful. Oh, gets the kill on that Reaver and he's going to get both the Templar. Dude, Snow is making some serious errors right now and TY is forcing them out of him. He's forcing these errors from Snow. Pushing him into tough positions over and over again. And I'm really impressed by the way he's playing this out. He's going to get plus three. 
We've got Scarab damage on the way, guys. If there's any question that this is, in fact, no. There's your proof right there. Scarab damage on the way. Plus, this was sent to me by Dude Nerd, by the way, guys. Scarab damage here in this tight of a game. It's kind of crazy. Only time I've ever seen Scarab damage, uh, aside from when Snow goes for it, is when you're, like, light years ahead as the Protoss player, but... Snow does it even when he's far behind or when he's in like a precarious situation. I'm going to go ahead and get that upgrade so that he can really start to deal damage with those Reavers. But his Reavers haven't done much this game. I'll be honest with you guys. It's been a little bit uh, lackluster. The performance of those Reavers, they really haven't dealt the damage that I was expecting. Not in the early game, not in these mid game fights either. Really, TY has been super on top of diving those shuttles, picking them off really, really quickly. Let's see if this one fares any different. We're going to have two Reavers on this bridge area, making it very hard for any counterattacks to come through there. Really suicidal for any Vultures to try and brave that choked up area. Fifth base is going to be coming down here, but TY is taking his side of the map now. Setting up a very good defensive position. A lot of high ground here. A lot of mines in the front. He's coming out to try and snipe an Observer right now. He is going to get that. Observer does go down. Templar shuttle here. Reaver shuttle over on the right-hand side. And what's the follow-up plan? Are we gonna, finally going to go to Carrier? Yeah, here we go. Carriers are incoming. The second Cybernetic Core has been begun here time to start researching that double upgrade for these carriers as ty is not budging right now he is just gonna sit back bide his time and with this area cut off you know there's mines here there's tanks on the high ground here you can't really counter attack this base at all as long as ty holds firm here and he holds firm here he should be fine up oh, there's the scan as you can see he sees everything by the way, he has a mine here still. <laughs> He's still got a mine. So he even saw that Stargate. That is hilarious. The scouting mine. Actually OP in this game. Telling TY everything that he needs to know. We haven't started any upgrades here. Which is a little bit surprising. I guess we need the fleet beacon. Before we can start plus two. For the air weapons. That's what he's kind of waiting on here. Another base going to come up. I can't believe how aggressive Snow is with these bases right now. He's transitioning into Carrier and taking a base, like, right in the face of TY here. Gonna come up, maybe try to snipe a Templar or two. Let's see if he can get one. There we go. Does pick that off. I'm gonna snipe, snipe the shuttle. He's been really good about it all game, and he does get the shuttle once again. Picking off those Templar now as well, and not gonna let this base stand. He's gonna be very proactive about shutting down that base the moment he sees it, another base going down here in the bottom left for TY, but he's not over expanding. He's not getting greedy here. He's just shutting down bases and preparing for the next stages of that this game. More scans going down. He's just checking things out. A base on this island going to be thrown down for snow. So we are going to go into a really funny game now. A very funny, weird game here. Between these two legendary players. Oh. Damn. Picks that off. Oh, drop over here. Love to see it. TY going to throw in a drop right now. Before we even have carriers out on the map. He's going to start hitting these bases. Now, this is a little bit rough to try and hit this. And he didn't even target down the shuttle, unfortunately. With the Goliath. So, the vultures are... are the, the zealots are going to be able to clean this up. Now, this is a little bit rough here. The Reavers can kill the command center incredibly fast. Look at how quickly they're taking it down. Okay, got to shoot down the shuttle and these Reavers really, really quick here. Looks like he is going to be able to get these and it keeps the Terran command center alive. That is a good trade here for TY. Just taking a lot of damage on this command center, losing a few Goliaths. That's it. Now he can start to push forward here. He's scanning ahead of the army, doing his due diligence as he shoves up the map. 
We've only got a couple of carriers out right now, and they are waiting on additional support. We have four Stargates here, but only two carriers to work with. So, really, TY has sensed the moment right now. He's really understood his position. Ooh, losing the uh, uh, science vessel right there. Something that TY really does, I think, need to work on if he wants to perfect his play is to get these... Uh, Science vessels into more of a defensible position when he's pushing be a little bit careful With where he's positioning those Tanks slowly moving forward here Reaching out to this high ground drop over on the center, right? Gonna be dealing some damage here. I think this is where the carriers will be sent right away I think it's time to send the carriers over here In order to clear out this area because we do want to keep some mining going over at that island. Very important that he keeps that alive right now. Ooh, nice snipe once again. Picking that off. Where are the carriers? They're just sitting back. We've got five now. We really need to leverage these carriers to do something on the map right now. But this base appears to be going down. And huge waves of Goliaths are being sent out right now. Snow just a little bit slow with his carrier push out. He should have been able to stop this from dying and keep the Nexus alive here, but he's not ready to take this fight yet. He's still waiting on interceptors. He's got plus one, plus one, or plus plus two, plus one, I think, on the way here. And that will be finishing up here, but you know, I, I think that TY might have this, guys. We've got three, 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 two right now. He's in a good spot here. He's shoving forward. He's got so many bases. He's taking even more. He's not over committing with the army and he's not losing a lot of Goliaths for each of these fights. As long as he has a good amount of rallies going and he's got a lot of factories to work with. I mean, not as many, I think, as maybe you would want. I think we might want to get like two, three more factories out, actually. Three more factories might be a good idea in this spot, but. Carriers are now starting to come across the map here. Let's see what Snow can do with these. What Can he actually make this work on Blitz Y here? Wow, he's trying to push up this ramp, but there's so many Reavers. This is the Snow special. Oh my gosh. Running right into the Goliath fire here, but he's baiting in these Goliaths and picking off a lot of them with the Reavers and Templar right now. Two of the five carriers have fallen. Looks like tanks will probably have to be pulled back here. Start to run away and maybe secure this base on this side. That should be his next priority. The carrier number is going to continue to grow here. And I mean, looking at this map, that could be a serious problem. Carriers are going to be uncontested on this right hand side. He can come in, hit this main. He can hit this base without ever coming into like the main area of the map. It'll be very important that TY sets up center left here because that might be his last bastion the area where he can still defend and the carriers can't just walk through you know they can't fly through the middle of the map very easily without getting run down run down by goliath but we'll see here coming up on this right hand side bringing the templar along as well it's gonna drop storms on these retreating goliaths just mincing them and now pushing forward with some ground army Mm, this is not looking good now for TY. TY really on the back foot here. Can he lift and send SCVs to another base? I think he needs to saturate somewhere else and get more Goliaths out. He's not actually making any Goliaths right now. He really needs to be sh just pumping out like 10 Goliaths at a time to maybe stand a chance at fighting this. It's still going to be tough, but you need massive rallies of Goliaths, and we just don't see them in the production tab right now. Where are all the Goliaths finally getting into a macro round here? TY being a little slow on that, and this is his moment to shine. You know, we're not mining a whole lot here for Snow, and there's like an opportunity maybe for TY to hold on, but no, GG is called. What happened there, TY? Bro, how on earth did we mess this up?
in this game state, I think we're in a fantastic position. Let's look here. We've got a good number of tanks. We're going to secure this base over here. We shut down the island expansion. We know about the carrier 100%. I feel like another like three factories somewhere. Place them anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Here, put one here, put one in here. Maybe put one, put, put some out here. I don't know, even put them here. I don't care. Just put some more factories down, man. We need more Goliath right now. He's got a great standing army, like 190 supply, but I think at this point, right now, look what we've got here. We've got a little mining in the top left. We've got a bit of mining over here at the mineral only. We've got a pretty healthy amount of mining over here for snow, but main base, natural, completely mined out. Whereas TY, he's got a lot of money here. A lot of money here. A lot of money this bottom left. And a fresh base in the center left. So he has so much money to work with here. He should be able to pump out just an insane number of Goliath and contest this. But let's just take another look at what happens here. You can just see let's let's see when he stops producing Goliath because I feel like we hit a big macro misstep here for TY and I really hope we don't see that you know in his debut here in ASL We've got plenty of money right now 71 SCVs guys 71 SCVs How on earth do we lose this game it is crazy to me to think of this right now. All right, we've got still plenty of army here. I'm going to be fighting this. Tanks are in pretty good number. We can at least defend this high ground. No problem. This ground army cannot really do anything right now. It's all going to come down to this ground army and this carrier force. We've got three tanks. Three tanks being made right now. Why? Why do we have three tanks? No Goliath. At all. Alright, this is just gotta be a mistake. Look at how long we're not making Goliath here. We're still not making Goliath. Still not making Goliath. There's the Goliath now. Three, four, five, six, seven. He's only got seven factory, guys. There's the eighth. Throwing it down here as an afterthought. But this is a big error. And, you know, this whole game, I was thinking that TY was actually putting up a fantastic fight. And then in the very end of the game, faltering. It, uh, it does seem suspicious to me. I really hope that he puts it together in the late game. I want to see him do well. A legend of StarCraft 2. Who has some really great ideas and excellent execution for the most part. But late game. What is this like 20, 20 minute flash? Are we looking at are we looking at TY as 20 minute flash now? He's playing like flash but only for the first 20 minutes. And then something happened where he just kind of lost control. Really, still high APM though. 362 banging away at his keyboard but not building any more factories and building tanks. When he should be building Goliaths. Look at how many tanks we have. We've got plenty of tanks right here. We certainly don't need any more. Not for this small of a ground army. Look at this pitiful army here for snow who was about to mine out i really don't know what else to say guys we have to see 20 minute flash clean up his act before going into this asl or i know exactly how this is gonna go for him that's it guys this is the end of the video thanks for watching this has been your daily dose of brood war and i'll see you tomorrow